What's up? It's Shay and I'm so excited about today's tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to achieve these voluminous, glamorous waves. This has been my go-to hairstyle. I mean, I do my hair like this pretty much every week when I'm on extra. I love it because it's so easy to do and not only does it look great like right after you style it, but it's one of those looks that gets better and better with time. So even after you've slept on it, you can wake up the next day, run a comb through it, and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by running a brush through my hair really quick to make sure I've got all the knots out. Then I'm gonna section off the top half of my hair. I definitely like to curl in sections because I feel like you get better curls that way. This is my curling wand of choice. It's by Numi. I'm actually using the 32 millimeter barrel, I believe this is. And I love it because it's a titanium barrel. It's not ceramic, so it's much better for your hair. We're gonna take this section and we're gonna curl it away from the face. How you hold the wand totally affects how your curl comes out. And you'll notice that I'm not curling the very ends of my hair. This is key also. Hold it for, I don't know, like 10 seconds or so, and then release it, and you've got your first little bouncy curl. Taking the next section, curling it away from the face again, and then releasing it. For some reason, I like to curl the front sections first. I don't know why, it's just how I do it. So I'm gonna go on to the other side and notice that I'm curling away from the face on this side as well. Now for the back pieces, I'm not as particular as far as like which direction I'm curling them. I'm just kinda trying to get the pieces curled. All right, now for the next section. I'm using my eyebrow arch to kind of judge where to draw the part here. And I'm gonna clip the rest of this away. And then we're gonna start again with the front section, curling everything away from the face. You see how they're all kind of twirling in the same direction? That's what you want. Okay, back to business. Onto the other side, again, I'm using my eyebrow to kind of judge where I'm drawing the part here. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. We're gonna curl it away from the face. Now this is the top most important layer because this kind of determines how everything falls. As you let your hair down, you wanna figure out where your part's gonna go because we're gonna curl it accordingly. Now we're back to curling it away from the face but make sure you don't bring the curling wand all the way up to your root. You don't wanna have like a super tight curl up there. You want it to just sort of fall nicely. And of course, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now that you have a full head of pageant curls, don't worry, we are not leaving it like this. This texturizer is by Amika, and I'm just gonna spray it to the roots of my hair. Now is for the most important part, get your big sexy hairspray because you know that stuff has some crazy hold to it. I'm gonna flip my head over to one side, spray, 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 flip it over to the other side, spray, 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 and there's the body we love. Now you kinda wanna mess with it, get it set into place exactly how you like it, and then I will go back through with some more hairspray. For some reason this side falls more flat for me, so I'll go in and like hold it up as I spray it and then release it. And our hair work of art is complete. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, comment below. Let me know if you like this, if you didn't, if you have any ideas for new videos in the future. Have an amazing week. Love you. Mwah!